from all over Mankato, a crowd of thousands descending as they would for a concert or a county fair. But the reason for this get-together is deadly serious. Good evening. Mankato's battle against an outbreak of bacterial meningitis has shifted into high gear. In the latest offenses, the Department of Health is targeting every city resident under the age of 30 as a possible carrier of the virus. The day began with a vaccination of the city's elementary school children and got crazier as the day went on. By this evening, a crowd of thousands wound around outside the Mankato Armory, and the wait for a dose of serum grew as long as two hours. At the end of the weekend, an estimated 22,000 residents will have been vaccinated against the stubborn outbreak at a cost of nearly $1 million. The governor has promised to foot the bill. And while there was some grumbling about the lines and some minor organizational problems, most are dealing with today's onslaught simply as doing what's necessary. Chair Levin's David Knoyer joins us now from Mankato with the latest. David? Kim, we're outside the Army Reserve Center because this was the only building in town large enough to handle the crowds, with 20,000 or more people here expected to be receiving doses of meningitis prevention this week. As one woman said, the lines here were so bad it looked like Disney World. The lines were that long. Oh, God! Oh, God! At 5 o'clock, they weren't a lot closer to being done in Mankato. The health department isn't saying exactly what all this is going to cost. Two hours, two and a half hours. Mothers and fathers bringing children for their medicine. At dusk, were still thousands of townspeople. Doctors are prepared to see half the Mankato population. What else are you going to do? There's not a whole lot that we can do other than get the vaccination. And it was three rounds around the parking lot earlier. There was a traffic jam outside the makeshift clinic, some resorting to pasture land shortcuts. Two-year-old Nicholas and Natalia Weemers were among the very youngest. They don't get out more than anybody else, but they just, everyone supposed to come, so we're here. My baby's at home with uh, pneumonia, and every, she's had a fever for two days, and I'm calling the doctor every day about it. Finally, getting meningitis vaccine and antibiotics for children was enough for most parents to shrug off the waited line, which at best was two hours. It's still fairly cold for this time of the year to be standing out here, and the wait is a long wait. Already the uh, time to come through the clinic is shortened, and I think over the four-day period, this first couple of hours, we were anticipated would be a little bit harder. And like this, I got you know, some dude, it's like, it's, it's a deadly disease for me. <laughs> They're lining up for medicine tomorrow, but Mankato State University students barely blink tonight. The game and the party going on as usual. It's not something that's going to spread, you know, just by the air necessarily, so I guess I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I'm planning on going tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, hopefully, get up and be one of the first ones there. Working in military style, the effort tonight still threatened to need overtime. Every last minute to see everyone. The pain is very real, needles and waiting, and when it's all over, an expected cost of $1 million. Today it was preschool and grade school kids who were here. Everyone from 2 to 29 years of age in Mankato will receive a vaccination before this is all over. Tomorrow morning at 10, uh, the lines will form from Mankato State University students. Back to you. David, given the, the length of the lines and everything, do you think they'll get it done in the time frame they were looking at? I think so. Uh, there was still quite a crew here just until about 9 o'clock tonight, and the people here were uh, getting ready for tomorrow. They've just gone home getting ready for tomorrow and then again on Sunday. Long weekend. David, you know your thing. Oh, of course. Out of the U.S. Army okay. Reserve Center in Mankato today to be immunized against meningitis. Channel 5's Mike Dinkley is live in Mankato tonight. And, and Mike, this, uh, this whole ordeal seems to be having an unusual effect on people who don't even live in Mankato. Well, uh, yeah, we're, we're finding out there are quite a few people out there who are afraid to come into this area for the time being, which is a point I'll get to in just a moment. First, though, we can tell you since 1 o'clock this afternoon, about 5,000 people have passed through this roped-off area here and into a makeshift vaccination clinic back there to get their shots. And this is just the first day. Thousands more are expected tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. One Mankato mother said tonight it reminds her of Alfred Hitchcock. Families lining up patiently, hoping to fight off deadly bacteria. When you look around, it just reminds you of some kind of movie, something weird where people are lined up for who knows what. It's just really, it's, it's spooky. Nearly half the city is being immunized over the next few days. Everyone under the age of 30 is being asked to show up. 
We're all hoping for the best. Hoping it'll pass. It's a type of bacteria that usually affects only those under the age of 21. The health officials are being safe in offering the vaccine to those as old as 29, and the stream of traffic is constant. Everybody's been real calm. Helicopters fly over to see the, cr the crowd, and everybody's waving there. Everybody's having a good time. In fact, Mankato seems to be handling this better than people up in the Twin Cities, who appear to be avoiding this area. Just ask the night clerk at one hotel, who just had four cancellations and whose friends won't visit. One of my friends said he was coming down to visit me, and his mom's like, what are you going down there for? You know, they have all that disease down there. Mary Steinholm has seen how people outside this area fear the word Mankato right now. We kind of joked about it. We went to Mall of America, and it was crowded, so we thought if we yelled we were from Mankato, anybody would get out of our way. But health officials again tonight want to stress there's no reason to fear them or to fear coming to this area. Apparently, it takes some pretty intense contact to spread this bacteria from what they tell us. In the meantime, the vaccinations do continue right here at the same site uh, tomorrow. It's the Army Reserve Center on Pole Road near the Mankato State Campus. Tomorrow they'll be here from 10 to 5. Sunday, it's noon to 5. Chris and Angela? Well, Mike, are health officials in Mankato pretty pleased with the progress of the immunization? In general, yes, considering they had 5,000 people through here today. Uh, transportation was a bit of a problem, and uh, many people had to wait out here for an hour or more. So starting this weekend, they will have more shuttle buses, and also they'll be setting up some tents so people can be uh, protected from the right. illness. 7,500 people received shots and antibiotics today to fight the bacteria that causes meningitis. But while health officials are working to stop the bacteria in its tracks, it's more difficult to stop the fear. Dave Huddleston reports. The line snaked around like these people were waiting to get on an amusement ride at Disney World. But they weren't met by a giant mouse, instead a nurse with a syringe. This weekend, health officials want to immunize everyone 29 and younger in Mankato. Most of the people we talk to say getting the shot and antibiotic rifampin is easing their fears. Get your shots, you have nothing to worry about. It's, they're, they're getting it under control. When I first heard about it, I thought it was kind of like, wow, ski here. And then everybody's getting shots and everything. It's, it's crazy, but why not, you know, get the shots and be healthy? The meningitis fear factor may be subsiding in Mankato, but about 15 miles up the road in St. Peter, it is still a reality. St. Peter High School student Adam Block says no one that he knows wants to go to Mankato anymore. It was kind of scary. We didn't want them bringing it over to our school and get it because after the bath, it was, you know, it's kind of scary. Sonny Utef makes regular trips to Mankato. She says when down there, she watches how close her six children get to other people. The fear definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you limiting the amount of trips you take to Mankato? Yes, I am now. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people are. There's been a 30% drop in hotel occupancy. The health officials say people who visit Mankato on a regular basis should be safe. I don't think there's any cause for panic here. I think this, um, this remains an issue in this community. But until the bacteria is under control, these people say they'll keep their distance. Dave Huddleston, 4 News, tonight.